In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install ClamTK antivirus for your Linux system. Now, I'm currently using Ubuntu Mate 18.04.3 for long term support. And if you're using another distribution or another type of Linux program, I do have links on my website where you can click here to download for other type of Linux uh, distributions. And uh, as you can see here, here's Fedora. Uh, Debian Ubuntu, there's the source, and there's other links for different type of like XFCE, the KDE, and uh, the GNOME. So I have links to that on my website, but I'm going to be modeling it for the Ubuntu Mate 18.04.3. Now when you click here, this is the newest uh, version at the time of making this video is the Clam T 6.02. If you're using an older version of Linux, you might have to install the older version of the Clam TK antivirus program. But here I'm showing you the illustrated steps. When you click this link, it will download a deb package that will place in your downloads folder. You'll go to the location you've downloaded the deb package. You double click it and it will come up with a dialog box allowing you to click the install package button. Now because I had it previously installed on here when I made my web page, I uninstalled and went back through the installation. At the time I did have some dependencies so there will be a little details button if you will have some dependencies but when you click the install package button it will download the needed dependencies and then it will install the program. Now it will then prompt you after you install the package button click on that link or that button it will prompt you to put your password in. Now you need GDB on your system for the package installer to work and this is how to install that if you don't have that on your system. Now once that it's installed on your system don't close the package installer dialog box until you see same version is already installed and the reinstall and remove package button. It will then be placed in your menu. I'm using the traditional menu so I go to my application accessories and then I click on to the antivirus clam TK. Now it's not going to say antivirus but it'll be the clam TK uh, and have an icon. Now I'm using a, a different icon theme for my system than the default. So you may have a little bomb which I have at the bottom. You probably see this icon in your menu to access it. And from then on it will come up to look like this. Now I'm using like I said earlier a different icon and different theme. Now I need to fix one of my icons because it's a little larger. I'm still in the process of modifying this icon and theme on my system. Uh, so it may look a little different than yours, but all the other icons is pretty consistent. Now in this window here on my web page, I do have all the little descriptions for every icon. Like I have a section for configuration and I describe each of the buttons and what they do. So I'm not going to go through all that in this video uh, explaining the explanation for each of those because most of you especially if you're coming from Windows are familiar with using an antivirus program. Now if you're using Linux you probably don't need an antivirus program. It's only people coming from Windows that has experienced problems with virus files and have that fear that when switching over that they need that little bit of protection to feel comfortable. Now if you're sending attachments to people that have a Windows operating system or Mac operating system it might be on a good idea to install this to scan those type files before sending those attachments in case they do have something that might harm their computer. But I do show you step by step illustrations on how to use the program. And then I have at the bottom for the default theme installing it on a computer with a normal default theme that's what the program looks like. Here's what the program looks like on my laptop with a different dark theme and a different icon set and as you can see the quarantine icon looks normal. Let me minimize this and open up the program. I'll go to my accessories and I click on the clam TK and in a few moments it will load. So again if yours looks a little different it's because of my theme and my icon set. To start with you can click the about button in the upper right hand corner and as you can see here it's Clam TK version 6.02 you can click a link that takes you to the home page and it was developed or created in 2014 and this gentleman here has been supporting it until since that time. Here's the credits that shows you the creator here's the license and then there's the close button. Now the first time you install this you can go to your settings and ch check what features that apply for your systems. Now this is potential or programs uh, 
if you look here I have a description for all of these and if you go up there those PUAs that I uh, show a picture of uh, the PUAs is for potential unwanted potentially unwanted applications that's what the PUA stand for and if you leave that checked it may create a lot of false positives and you think something's infected that it's not and you might remove or quarantine something that's not really infected so by default I recommend to leave that unchecked unless you're familiar with those PUA's potentially unwanted applications now where it says scan files beginning with a dot in Linux hidden files will have a dot in front of the file name or folder to prevent you from making changes to it and a lot of system files has that dot in front of it if you want it to scan hidden files and folders you check that box here this is for large files larger than 20 megabytes I think by default that's unchecked but when you're downloading things from the internet a lot of programs are larger than 20 megabytes if you want it to scan for that then you check that box now it will increase the amount of scan time because it will scan all the files larger than 20 megabytes unchecked since it's not scanning the larger files it will de decrease your scan time scan direct is recursively the directories that means if you got a folder and folders within folders when you check that it will not only scan the high directory folders it will scan all the subfolders in that main folder uh, that you have selected and this is going to allow you to check for when you execute and look for updates it will not only look for antivirus update for the definition files checking this box will check to see if there is any updates for the program so that's your settings icon a white list you can come in here and add things that you don't want to remove something that might pop up like if you check the PUAs and it shows an application that you know is not infected you can add that program to this list and then you can remove things if you decide to take it off so that you can uh, it will not identify as a virus if you're using a proxy you can go in here and make change your proxy settings so that you're allowing it to work across your network this is the scheduler when you look at uh, or change things in the scheduler this is like for if you're using your computer and leave it on all the time or even if you leave your computer on for a given period of time you can schedule it when to come on and it will scan your system or you can tell it when to get the antivirus updates uh, like if you want to get them while you're asleep you can put the time here or if you go to work you can put to get your antivirus signatures while you're away from your computer that way you're not using your computer and using up the bandwidth while you're trying to surf and, and get your definition files or you can even turn off uh, automatic updates to manually so that you can get them when you want to instead of when the program wants to here's a history as you can see here I've scanned uh, files on the 13th the 12th the 14th the 16th and just earlier today on the 20th so it leaves a history of the files that it was scanned and if you want to view the, the results you click the view button and you can go through and look at the what was scanned and if there was any infections and where it was located here is the quarantine now since this is the third antivirus scanning program I've been modeling or demonstrating on my web page and on YouTube I don't have any quarantine files the first program I put on here was Komodo and it found a lot of infected files when I used to use Windows uh, on an external or on a, another internal drive that's on not on my main drive it scanned those as well and found those in quarantine and removed some so this scanner didn't find any it's clean now when you first install it you can't really update it by clicking the update button you need to go to the update assistant first when you click this it will be de on default to manually or my computer automatically receives updates so it's on an automatic feature I like to get the updates when I want to so I said I would like to update the signatures myself you click the apply button and it will make this changes to where it's not automatically receiving updates you then go back to the back button hit your update feature and when you hit yes check for updates it will go on across the internet but mine's up to date I just currently did that earlier today and it will download and install your updates the next features you have which is your analysis section if you want to scan a particular file on your computer you click the scan a file button you can go to anywhere you want to let's say for example I wanted to scan this program that I installed now for time's sake this is kind of a slow process so I'm gonna skip this but if you wanted to scan that you click OK it would bring up a little dialog box and it will scan and then when it's finished it will tell you if it's an infected file and if it was recommended to, to quarantine delete or 
uh, to cancel. So I'm going to cancel that just for the fact that it's just a slow process Then, if you've ever used an antivirus scanner you would know what it's doing. Here's to scan a directory or subdirectories. I can choose any of, if I choose home, every one of the folders that you see here, including the hidden ones, because remember I had to check the hidden ones. So every dot that you see in front of these folders are hidden folders that would nor not normally be scanned. So if I want to scan all of these folders, I leave the home folder selected and hit OK. And it will scan every single file in every single folder that you see listed. So there's a lot of them. Or if I wanted to only scan the folders in my downloads, I would click here, hit OK. Or if I just wanted to choose a particular folder, like the Bami uh, video in, uh, player, I could click on Bami and hit OK. And it would scan only the files into the folder that I selected here. Now because it is a slow process scanning all of the files, when I hit OK, a little box would come up and it would go through and scan and then it would report if it found any infected files. The last button within the virus scanner is your analysis. When you click that, you got the feature, like if it found a file and it's not sure, or if it found a PUA if you have the, the PUA selected, and if you're not sure if it's an infected file, you could come and hit the drop down, go to the folder, let's say for example, I select the clam TK 6.02 the deb file if I hit open the button that I have here and your icon would may look different if you haven't changed your uh, theme if I click that button that's going to submit that file now I'm not going to submit the actual program that I installed for the virus scanning program to the company because that would look kind of foolish but if you hit the submit it will submit the file that you want to submit for them to look over to see if it's infected. Now you can look at your previously submitted files and if you've ever submitted a file if they've looked it over you'll see a vendor name, a date, and the results whether or not that they said the file was infected or not. So I'm not going to send their file for submission on checking its reputation but you have the ability to do that with the analysis button. So this is very easy antivirus program it's open source so for those of you diehard Linux fans that only want to use open source software the clam TK antivirus program is a great uh, utility or tool antivirus scanner for those that like to use open source now there is the command line scanner for this the clam TK it's the open application it's the front end the GUI or the GUI the graphical user interface for the clam antivirus program. There is the CLAM antivirus program that you can install that works through the terminal that you scan by using the command lines. But for most people that are making the transition from Windows to Linux, they like the ability to point and click. You know, it's very easy, it's very quick, and they don't have to remember a lot of commands. So for you diehard Linux users or new Linux users that like to use the command line, you might want to use just the CLAM antivirus program. By installing the CLAM T, it's going to install the typical clam antivirus so you can still use the features within the terminal but you also have the ability to use the front end the the graphical user interface that I just went over hopefully this video will be helpful to understand how to use the clam t antivirus program and have a great day